It's your girl T here back with another Tea Time Tuesday slash Wednesday video. I know y'all are having a beautiful blessed day because we're tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is I'm priceless. We are priceless. We're tea timers, so we can't even be priced. That's how expensive we are, which leads me into today's video. I'm going to jump to it. Before I do jump to it, I used to hate when people would do this in videos, but now I understand why, because I get so many questions about coaching that they start their intro with the coaching question. I have a few prices. I don't post them on my page because then it will start a chain on my or thread on my page. If you want to know about coaching, just email me. I always drop the email in the description description. It's uh, tchance698 at hotmail.com. It's always in the description. So you can email me there and I'll give you my coaching prices. I wanted to discuss with y'all today about about stating your worth and sticking to it. So I've gotten a few correspondences, not a few, a lot of correspondences, like I've been chasing my SP and they blocked me. I've been chasing them and they do such and such and so on and so forth. If you went into a store and they said everything in the store was free and you just grabbed up as much as you could and you got duplicates of things and you just took whatever was in front of you because of course there's nothing, there's no price tag on it, so you just get everything Thing for free and then let's say you had three I don't know cases for your phone that you got for free and you lost one of them it, it went away you couldn't find it and you had lost it but you had a couple more and they were free would you care as much if you lost that cell phone case as if you had paid or would you care more if you had paid like a hundred dollars for that cell phone case of course you wouldn't care as much because it was free anyways and you have multiples of them it's the same thing in your journey with your SP. If you are parading yourself around like you're on the free shelf or the clearance bin and you're expecting them to give you coach product Gucci behavior, then that is contradicting yourself. If you are really a coach, a Gucci, a Prada purse that only a few people can have and it's priced so high that people with money always go after it and they treat it like it is worth a thousand dollars, like it is worth two thousand dollars, they won't put it on the ground, they always have a special chair for it. That's how you want to be treated in your reality because you are the prize in your reality. You're the main person in your reality. If your SP wants somebody to chase them in their reality, they can make a self concept of themselves being chased and chosen and somebody else in another multi-reality can chase them down but in your reality you get chased you get prioritized you are the prize you are worth a million dollars so you don't chase after what you want you don't wait on text messages you don't hold your life so that your sp can suddenly realize your worth you already know your worth you already know you're a prize you already know you can have anybody that you want and your SP is lucky that you find them of worth and of value and that you are entertaining them that is the energy we want to have when we are manifesting our SP because a lot of you are watching them on social media uh, looking or stalking their cell phones like calling them blowing up their phone uh, anytime that they want a booty call you're available anytime that you're a backup plan for them you're available this isn't coach Gucci Prada behavior this is clearance bin at a clearance store behavior where you will take whatever little breadcrumb breadcrumbs meaning whatever little tidbit that your SP decides to give you and you are like sitting on your hands and knees waiting for them to give you another breadcrumb because you're so you're putting them on such a pedestal that you'll take whatever they give you this is the opposite energy of where we should be we are working on our concept that we have of ourselves so that we are the ones up here and they're waiting for our breadcrumbs because we know that we are the top choice the priority we are valued we are the ones that get chased we are the ones that have options because it is our reality and we are the center focus in our reality and a lot of times I'll hear well I don't love myself I don't feel like I'm worthy of dating I don't feel like I'm worth the effort if you feel that way about yourself then guess what other people including your SP feels towards you if you are your biggest hater 
and you're hating on yourself 24 7 talking about how you don't deserve great things how you don't deserve to be chased how you should be waiting for them on hands and feet guess what they're getting guess what message they're receiving you're an option you're a backup plan they don't even want to talk to you because you give them the ick know your worth start declaring your worth by affirming it in journaling scripting what have you and your worth will will slowly but surely be on the rise you will start feeding yourself this positivity all day every day and your worth will go up i was actually watching one of the episodes of the kardashians yesterday it just came on my um tv and there was this one scene where kim was starting to uh, dress herself and Kim Kardashian we all know is considered one of the most beautiful attained for like chased after women in the world that's that's very um, subjective like some people might not look at her that way but this is what the media forces on us that she is you know the prototype of what women should look like from a men's perspective I'm sure anyways we can all agree she's an attractive woman and she started dressing herself and saying that she doesn't know what her identity is anymore because Kanye always told her what to wear and she doesn't know if she looks good she doesn't know if things look good on her etc until she jumped into her self-worth later on in the show where she started uh, reminding herself of old outfits she used to wear and looking at old pictures of herself and seeing how good she looked in them she had insecurity we all do what I'm trying to get across to you here is that no matter what the outside world is telling you no matter how beautiful people tell you no matter how uh, good-looking people say you are no matter how much of a dime people are are telling you all day every day if you're not saying that to yourself and if you're truly not conditioning yourself to believe that within yourself it doesn't matter what everybody else is telling you you're not going to start acting the way that you want to be treated until you start feeding it to yourself or until you get to a place where you start um, not so much believing but until you start conditioning yourself into the notion that you are the prize you are a Gucci you are a Prada you are the one that people should be jumping up for so if you're coming from an energy where you consider yourself lucky to get any little breadcrumb from your SP and they sh you should be so lucky if they text you or call you and you'll jump at the chance to do something with them right off the hop even if they've treated you like dirt for the last two weeks you need to swap out of that energy and I'm not saying it's a one two three swap out I know a lot of people come from damaged backgrounds uh, traumatic events have happened etc but we all have the same opportunity every single day to feed ourselves new narratives even if we don't believe at first that we're the prize that we're chosen that we're cherished that we're prioritized that we're beautiful inside and out this is something that can be shifted within us by retelling ourselves these things all day throughout the day every single day how do you think you learn anything in your life your ABC's how to walk how to do any new thing how to learn how to swim etc you repetitively repeat something over and over until it becomes very easy for you this is the same thing with reprogramming our thought process we tell ourselves new stories and new belief systems until we start believing in it and you will see your 3d repatternize around you based on the concept that you have of yourself of how people treat thus new self and the belief system that you hold around yourself start telling yourself as simple as I love you I love you I love you you're the best you're the best I love you I love you I validate you I love you every single day and see how that little shift in your reality will take place when you're looking out into your 3d I'm telling you guys if you focused all the attention you're giving your SP onto yourself and started pro reprogramming your mind to reshape yourself into that Gucci Prada Bentley mentality you would start seeing the change around you but you got to put in that work it's not hard work but it is work where you have to be consistent and do it every single day until your 3d starts shifting and you start feeling better about yourself if y'all have questions, you know what to do. I love y'all, but not as much as you should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Wednesday. Bye.